Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio channel. My name is Fabi. So we are starting a new series. It's called Variation of Salutation or Salutation Variations. And the salutations are exercises linking together that we normally do it at the beginning of the classes to warm up or sometimes when you are doing a flow yoga class. And these exercises linking together help us to mobilize our body to warm up but also give us to focus and concentration and create body awareness. So in this series, we're going to do two adaptations of those sound salutations, linking some movements together to help us to develop mobility. So if you try these exercises every day or this little routine every day for seven days, you will feel completely different. You will see the improvement in your mobility, improvement in your well-being, flexibility of course so we're gonna do it a little bit different of the normal salutation so everybody can join us so are you ready so let's start so we're gonna come at the front of your mat so first we're gonna go uh, slowly and then after we're gonna connect it with the breath because that's the idea of the sun salutation that the movements are then connected with the inhalation and the exhalation so are you ready good so we're gonna come at the front of our mat with our feet parallel Relax your lower back, engage your tummy so we don't arch our back. So again, bring your tail in, pull a little bit your pubic bone towards your belly button to engage your lower tummy and press your feet against the ground to feel the legs engagement. Super. Relax your shoulders, relax your face and it's not about right or wrong. Just try it and after, the, after repeating like a five, four, maybe seven days, you will start to feel more aware. And then your body will let you know when it's right or wrong. But it's just about mobilizing your body. So ready? So we're going to go inhale and exhale. We're going to go a spine roll, bending your knees to don't pull the back of the legs. And if you don't have too much flexibility, bend them as much as you can. Let the head drop. Now we're going to go inhale. We're going to keep our hands on our lower leg. Lift the chest and try to straight your back. Keep your legs bent. Then hands on the ground. We're going to step backward, right foot, left foot. We're going to come onto all fours. We try to press with our fingertips to don't let the weight collapse on our wrist. And we're going to go cat and cow. So we go inhale. We tuck the pelvis in, chin and chest, cat stretch. And exhale, move your hips forward. Lift your tummy and arch your back. And we are going to go again. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go for two, and exhale, and just one more. So this is the part of the back bends in your sun salutation. Good. Now back onto normal, and we're going to sit in back onto child pose, which will be kind of the adaptations of you standing forward bend. We let the head drop, and we take a deep breath. Inhale. Push your bum down onto your heels as much as you can. And exhale. Back again onto all fours. Curl the toes under. Push through your fingertips. Lift your knees. Come into downward dog. But if we are not too flexible at the moment, we bend the knees and we concentrate and straight our back and our arms. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly, we're going to bring our knees onto the ground. Slide the right knee forward and the left one backwards. Use your toes and we go as much as we can into this position, sinking your hips onto your heel. And here we're just going to raise our wrist if we feel comfortable and we arch here our back, which is part of the back bend in your sun salutation. We take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now hands on the ground and the transitions are important to strength. So here you push your body up, your hips up, and drag the back knee in and the front backwards to come back onto all fours. Now don't let all the weight collapse on your wrist, so try to use your tummy. So we drag the other leg forward, the left one and the right backwards, and we just come here into pigeon pose. We take a deep breath, we can keep the hands on the ground, or we can elevate your wrist. We take a deep breath, inhale, relax your shoulders, relax your face, and exhale. Try to inhale and exhale through the nose. 
deep and long. Back again, your hands onto the ground, come back onto all fours. Now we go one more time, downward dog. Don't worry, you can bend the legs. And then we're just gonna walk towards the legs. You might to release your hands from the floor, it's okay. Try to do this walking with your head down. Now inhale, bend your knees to allow your chest to touch your thighs. And exhale, we roll up the spine. And just shoulder roll backwards. So we're going to do these exercises for a couple of times. Okay, so let's try it again. I'm going to go slowly, but still we try to just concentrate in the breath. So let's go again. Stand up at the top of the mat, engage your tummy, press your feet against the floor, inhale. And exhale, spine roll. Inhale, keep your legs bent, raise your chest, straight your back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. This is a variation of training position. Hands go to the ground. Step backward, right and left. Take your time here for some of us that we still struggle in moving our, tom our torso. But just keep trying and you will feel the difference in your mobility. Cat and cow. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go for two, exhale. Arching your back, and one more time. So we do four times, curving your back and arching your back, cat and cow. Back into neutral, we push ourselves down onto our heels. Doesn't matter if we don't go all the way down, it can be a little bit higher, that's okay. And we take a deep breath, curve your spine into your neck. Inhale, and exhale. Back onto all fours, curl the toes under, lift your knees, downward dog. You can keep your legs bent or you can straight your legs, but the most important is that we concentrate and extend your back and your arms. So you can bend the knees if you feel too much tension at the back of the legs. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Release down. Slide your right knee forward and the left one backwards. Come up. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. This is called pigeon pose. Remember that we are doing variations. Come back onto all fours. Use your hands pressing the ground. Engage your tummy, left one. And when you are pressing the ground, try to press with your fingertips as well so we don't let the pressure go onto the wrist. Let's go take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Come back onto all fours. One more time, downward dog. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Walk with your hands towards to your legs. We can release the hands. Try to drop the head. Watch your toes. And we go all the way forward. Bend your knees to allow your chest come close to your thighs. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, roll up. And we roll our shoulders backward. Good. Are you ready to flow? So let's do it, just concentrating in our breath. If it still is not, are not clear the movements, just come back to the beginning, do a couple of times until you have it clear, and then we just go together. Let's do it for four times. Ready? Let's go. Inhale. Exhale, spine roll. Take a breath, raise your torso, inhale. Exhale, hold. Hands on the ground, step by our right and left, cat and cow, inhale, cat, exhale, cow. Let's go for three, inhale, and exhale, two, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Back into neutral, sitting back, child pose, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. 
Back onto all fours, slide right knee forward, left one backwards, pigeon pose. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Take a breath to come back onto all fours. And slide the left knee forward, right one backwards as you exhale. We hold for one breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale to come back onto all fours. Exhale, we go onto downward dog, lifting your knees and your bum up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Look to the front, walk with your legs. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll up. Roll the shoulders backwards. Let's go again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, spine roll. Inhale, raise your torso. Hold here, exhale. Inhale, hands on the ground, step backwards. Exhale, holding all four, set yourself. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Really connect your movement with your breath. Let's go for three. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Sitting back onto child pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours, curl the toes under, slide the right knee forward, left one backwards, and we take a deep breath in pigeon. Inhale and exhale. Back again onto all fours, inhale, exhale, swap the legs. Hold one breath, inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Walk with your legs forward. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up the spine, and we just roll the shoulders backwards. Let's go for two more, are you okay? Let's keep going, two more. Inhale, deep, exhale, spine roll, don't lose the concentration, connecting your breath with the movement. Inhale, raise your chest, exhale, hold here with the back straight, bending your knees. Inhale, hands on the ground, exhale all the way, all fours. Four cat and cow, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. For two, inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto neutral. Press with your fingertips to don't let the weight collapse on your wrist. Sitting back. Child pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours, slide your right knee forward, left one backwards, come up, take a deep breath, inhale, 
on exhale. Back onto all fours, swap your legs and take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And back again onto all fours. Come back onto downward dog. If your knees, maybe in this point, you can extend more your legs if you feel comfy. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Walk forward. Take our time. Let the head drop, curving your spine, bending your knees. No pain. Inhale. And exhale, roll up and roll your shoulders backward. Let's go one more time. Inhale and exhale, spine roll. Inhale, raise your chest, straight your back. And exhale all the way onto all fours. Let's go for four cat and cow. Inhale cat. And exhale cow. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto neutral. We sit in back. Child pose. And take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Slide the right knee forward. Pigeon pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Swap the legs. And we take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Down onto downward dog. Press into your fingertips. Take a deep breath. Look to the front. Walk forward. Inhale. And exhale. Roll, Roll your shoulders back. Fantastic, how you feel? Don't worry, some exercises or some transitions were a little bit difficult, that is pretty normal. Remember, practice for seven days continuous until the other video release, and then you will feel completely different. Try it and feel how easy you will start to move from one post to another one after seven days, five days, depends. So keep going, remember it's worth it to gain your mobility back. Thank you to join us and please like, subscribe, and you can follow us as well in Instagram, Sacred Body Studio. Thank you and namaste.